Rachel Maddow dismisses the shooter's motives as irrelevant, sparking a heated debate. On one side, she argues that focusing on these motives may distract from the urgent need to condemn the violence outright. Yet her critics passionately contend that understanding why such violent actions occur is crucial for preventing future tragedies. Look back at that whole string, going all the way back to the 1800s, is that the motive of the person committing the violence is never relevant. Very true. The act of violence itself ends politics, turns it over into crime, mm -hmm. and makes the views and the motivations of the shooter mm -hmm. irrelevant. Everybody in politics, no matter where you are ideologically, must unite around the idea that violence is unacceptable. Absolutely. And it's unacceptable both, uh, it, it, both when it comes to targeted stuff like this, but it's also unacceptable when you try to incite that as a way of getting things that you want that you can't get to political means. So it's true in terms of violent rhetoric. It's true in violence orientation toward the idea of confrontation with your fellow Americans. And of course, it's true in the case of some sort of insane event like we saw on Saturday in, in Pennsylvania. And I just feel like it was this, it's a very, I mean, obviously, we're all very grateful that President Trump was not more seriously hurt. We are all absolutely shattered by the fact that somebody was killed. Somebody was killed, people yeah. were put in the hospital very seriously hurt. But I'm hope, I am hoping that the one positive thing that can come out of this is some sobriety mm. around the idea of violence in politics being no freaking joke and nothing that anybody should play with ever. Yeah. And, it's, and, and you're right, you can't be ahistorical about it. And we yeah. do need to think of it as a, as a spectrum while being completely real about the risks of this to everybody. Violence, among everything else, is very unpredictable. Once it's part of your political system, you never know which direction it's going to go. Yeah. Nobody can harness it in one direction only. It just doesn't work that way. By downplaying the shooter's motives, Maddow risks ignoring the deeper issues at play. Critics argue that without addressing the root causes, be it political polarization, mental health issues, or ideological extremism, society remains vulnerable to repeated violence. They emphasize that each act of violence is a reflection of individual responsibility and conscious decisions, deeply rooted in personal or ideological beliefs. Maddow's stance, some say, oversimplifies the complex interplay of factors that lead to such extreme actions. Her approach may inadvertently undermine efforts to heal and create effective policies. The public's response to her remarks is divided. While some supporters agree with her call for immediate condemnation, others believe that only by understanding the underlying motives can we hope to resolve the fundamental issues driving such acts. This debate highlights a broader societal conflict, the need to balance immediate responses to violence with long-term strategies to address its root causes. Rachel Maddow's influence as a public figure shapes this discourse, potentially diverting attention from the uncomfortable truths about ideological extremism and the need for a more nuanced analysis.